Hello everybody, welcome to this lecture. Last lecture you have seen accident investigation and also what kind of analysis is required. We also uh, shown you that uh, what are the uh, different information that will be should be collected. And in today's lecture what I will do just I will describe the descriptive analytics part assuming that you have some kind of data available with you and those data are basically come from the uh, from the accident in or incident investigation reports or records. Okay. So, in this lecture we will see descriptive analytics or other way you can say descriptive analysis also, but today's domain uh, world is analytics driven whenever you have data you must uh, try to do analytics so that you will get the best benefit out of it. Uh, okay. So, what are the things we will see today? We will see first the descriptive statistics and then what on example and finally, all those uh, descriptive statistics we, we will try to uh, relate uh, uh, to the data and give some of, some of the insights to you and which will ultimately help you in uh, describing uh, describing the, uh, the accidents or incident or safety status of a plant for which you are doing this analysis. So, <clears throat> when we talk about uh, statistics, basically statistics means when you have data, you have collected lot of data is there. So, these data are usually we say that sample data which is collected from a population or from a process or a system, then uh, this data can be used to, to infer or to quantify or to measure some of the basic properties of the population or the process or the system. So, that means what happened that descriptive statistics include that the summarizing the data, then you are charting the data and then getting location and dispersion measures from the data and this basically uh, actually describe the uh, what is happening uh, in the system or the process or from statistics point of view in the population. So, there will be different kinds of measures, one is measures of frequency, then measures of central tendency, measures of dispersion or variation, measure of, of measures of position. Under measure of uh, frequency, you measure count, percent, frequency. Under central tendency, you measure mean, median and mode and under measure of dispersion, you measure range, variance and standard deviation and under measure of position, you basically measure the percentile ranks, quartile ranks and something like this. So, I will not be discussing all those things, but for the uh, for your benefit, some of the things will be dis discussed today and rest of the things you please do your self study. So, let us uh, consider a data set. Suppose a company is experiencing serious accident over the last 5 years. They have been collecting records of each of the accidents occurred in the plant. The data consists of 500 records are retrieved from the company for analysis with the aim of to provide descriptive statistics of the data the attributes used in the discrete below. So, <coughs> please remember that that means investigations have been made whenever incident has taken place and let in this fashion the report is available. Report can contain many other things, but for the time being we have, we have created hypothetical data set and that hypothetical data set is like this. So, that means incident every incident report has attributes like month, day, location, incident event, working condition, machine condition, observation type incident type, employee shift, gender, working temperature, heart rate, blood pressure, health rating, incident outcome risk, so many things are there. So, you see some of the are basically time stamp, some of them are location stamp, some of them are event uh, related detailing, some of them are basically basically related to the particular victim, 
some of them are related to the physical process, uh, physical environment like temperature and, and also uh, there are uh, some outcomes related to incidental incident maybe fatality property damage and something something like this. So, most of the things are categorical in nature, categorical means they have they are basically just giving you some kind of identity like day, day has 7 days Sunday, Monday, Tuesday to Saturday. So, they will uh, from Sunday and Monday they gives you the uh, identity of the day only nothing more nothing less ok. Similarly, location they will tell you which location whether it is in the plant on the road in the sub floor or within the sub floor whether in section 1, section 2, section 3 like this. So, that since they are all categorical in nature. Now, temperature is numerical, heart rate is also numerical, blood pressure numerical. So, working temperature related to the physical environment heart rate and blood pressure related to the victim and health rating also related to the victim that is also numerical and incident outcomes basically what happened to the victim and risk means basically it is basically the that event you have seen the probability of happening that event and, and times the severity in some scale it is major ok this is also categorical in nature. So, how many categories are there in the month 12 categories, day 7 categories like different categories are there and for the numerical variables you will get range values that from which value to minimum to maximum this value you will get ok. Suppose you have collect that means what happened these are the attributes you have collected from the accident reports there are 500 such records. So, you have good amount of data set. Now, we want to do some kind of descriptive analytics here or descriptive statistics here. So, here uh, first you see that month wise that in different months what is the frequency the percentage. Now, if you see the frequency and percentage you find out that this percentage wise this is the 12 percent is in November otherwise more or less they are similar ok. Now, if you go by day, I think the day wise also percentage if you say, so from this data 18.4 it is little more otherwise others are almost equal. Similarly, when you go by division, division wise you see that division 3 is having percentage this much percentage 37.8 percentage, but otherwise others are almost similar. Now, these are basically from month, day, location this categorical data where different categories and their frequency and percentage is calculated you can calculate it in this manner also. So, you can use a software and get it, but uh, when we are talking about some kind like working temperature, health rating then they are numerical variables. So, in this case you are able to find out the minimum value, maximum value they are some one total 500 sum then their mean value the standard deviation value ok. So, working temperature if I want to analyze what is happening working temperature minimum value is 30. So, this is 30 and maximum value is 45 and then your mean is 37 point somewhere here 37.64 standard deviation is 4.63. So, so that mean if you if you see the data is basically ranging from 30 to 45 with mean value here and standard deviation here 4.36. So, it is one standard this side 4.36. So, 37 power 43 if you go this side 4.36 this is 33. So, this is the range variation over the mean, but if you see health rating it is mean uh, minimum value is 1 health rating if I go minimum value 1 maximum value 10 and its mean value is almost middle point 5.62 and it variance part is 2.6. So, this side 2.6 this side 2.6 this sense you will be right. So, the mean will give you the central tendency and variance or st standard deviation give you the dispersion what is happening and this is possible this you will get when you have the data in the numerical scale or numeric scale. When you have data in the categorical scale, you will get the frequency values and some probability values or the percentage uh, occurrences you will get and accordingly you can take the decisions. 
For example, what will be the decision here? Decision for the month wise, you may say that why November mean will be percentage is more, you want to look into this. Similarly, uh, Sunday the value is more or division 3 frequency is more. So, immediate attention will be why, what happened to division 3, what happened is happening on Sunday and what, the, what has happened in November uh, that may be the that may be the quest for from the safety management point of view. And working temperature if you see that mean value is 37.64, uh, you may it may be ok and health rating point of view suppose it is basically 5.62, but the rating should be when I mean, it is again in the middle value, but it is not good because it should be at the higher level. So, that sense you have to analyze, understand. So, that means now what happened that means the people I can say the health rating is not good. So, their health to be improved may be health ultimately lead to safety problems. Okay. So, this is what is the logic of uh, doing this kind of uh, descriptive analysis. Now, <coughs> there are many charts that can be used. Uh, for example, when we, you are doing the which, which kind of employees are more prone to accident, then you can use simple bar chart and then bar chart you find out that contractor are more than the employees. Now, if you see the percentage also, if the contractor workers and em, company employees, they are having equal in number, then this count is you see the contractors are more prone to accident. And it may be because contractors are there may be many contractors coming from deep diverse background, then there may not be having proper tra training for those workers. They may the contractor workers might be changing time to time. So, their familiarity about the situation working conditions is also not that good. Similarly, if you do bar chart for the shift wise analysis, you see that evening shift the accident is more. So, uh, it may be uh, you have to see that why evening shift accident is more you do further analysis on evening shift and then find out the reasons behind it. But nevertheless, we are basically I want to show you the uh, use of bar chart here. Okay. So, bar chart what happen in the x axis there will be the categories and y axis there will be the frequency or count. So, here employee type two categories contractor and employee this side count and here uh, in case of that uh, shift there are three shift and count. Okay. So, you can use pie chart, pie chart in last class I have shown you pie chart will give you basically that when you cap com, com, capture the totality it will give you the area of the chart talks about the percentage of contribution for that particular particular attribute uh, category. For example, time shift day, day evening and night here you have seen that the your uh, major contribution is evening shift. So, that is the area here is more share is more and that same thing if you want to do in line chart, line chart, line chart here is similar to uh, that bar chart here, but except putting bar like this, putting bar like this you are what you are doing you are putting one point here another point here another point in and drawing and joining them. So, that is line chart giving you the similar analogy uh, or similar interpretation of the accident or incident occurrences for the hypothetical plant studied. Then there is scatter plot. Scatter plot when you do scatter plot is nothing but basically you to consider two variables at a time or two attributes. In this side you are saying that number of incident or incident count and this side that shift. So, uh, and uh, here what a time shift and then here contractor and employee two kinds of um, that um, workers are considered. So, then the contractor, contractor and contractor everywhere they are more, it is more. Okay. So, <coughs> Although we have basically shown you that time versus time versus the type of employee with the number of incident, 
but scatter plot when usually the general meaning of scatter plot is there will be two variable this side x and this side y now what is the relation between x and y okay so that means what what will happen if we if we do suppose here that your shift shift is your day shift evening shift and night shift and this side your con regular and contractor then if you if you put the values so day shift day shift and uh, day shift and regular so and they see this kind of this kind of some kind of plot you will get but better will be when we have suppose this side this side let it be uh, temperature and and this side let it be your health rating health rating for the worker so if temperature increasing health rating decreasing or something like this it may so happen you will find out something like this curve this kind of things are the uh, described in scatter plot scatter plot means it's a bivariate one two variable case and this is a special type of scatter plot what we have done we have considered contract to employee type as well as time and also we have considered the counts okay so if i consider number of counts versus time shift only then then what happened shift means basically that shift 1 and shift 2 and shift 3 in fact time in between means middle of the shift here 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 so that is 18 here but usually we will not do in this fashion we will write here suppose shift a or shift a shift b or shift c this middle shift if you want to write shift then a b c otherwise you write time 24 hours of time from 0 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 24 this side and then contractor and regular employee like this okay so these are the different ways of um, plotting the uh, data but it is clear from this data that regular employee regular employee they are having less number of accident or incident compared to contractor employee and if you compare shift to wise then definitely evening shift is having more number of accident compared to other two shifts and then uh, that kind of things you can plot radar chart what happened here that contractor employee employee type and then night shift evening shift day shift some radar is formed and just to show you uh, that you know what is happening in terms of contractor and employee with reference to the three three different shifts this is another kind of plot so when if you have uh, your uh, suppose um, con health rating or some kind of continuous variable and you want to see uh, with reference to categorical variable suppose you had shift day shift sorry here day shift night evening shift and night shift so then you have you know that how many accident uh, incident has taken place in day shift night evening shift and night shift also now you know the the victims and their health rating also you know so you want to see that what is the variability and central tendency for people uh, in health rating for people who are injured or who are victim in day shift in the evening shift and this shift so then this kind of box plot will give you a beautiful comparison what is box plot box plot basically talks about median value the middle one is the median value then this is your first quartile quartile 1 and this is your third quartile quartile 3 so median is quartile 2 this is quartile 2 so quartile 3 and quartile 1 and then this is the whiskers so this ultimately uh, this lower than quartile 1 and uh, more than quartile 3 some whiskers means what is the spread possible possible from here to here for this here to here and for this here to here so if you see the mean value in terms of health rating 
then in day shift this median value is lower or almost they are similar but if you see the spread then day shift towards the spread is much more compared to the evening shift paper it may be so that the people who are victim in the evening shift their health rating is spread is less so okay now doctor if you ask doctor then they can tell you why the this pattern of health rate, uh, rating is observed okay so uh, doctor will help you so another way, way of representing this is the th this through histogram histogram when you talk about histogram histogram talk about only one particular variable which is basically numeric in scale okay so that mean here health rating so it what it does basically histogram from the from the minimum to maximum with certain range small range number of counts number of frequencies or frequency is counted for example i can say that health rating it is 1 to 10 so then up to 10 suppose you 1 to 2 1 to 2 2 to 3 maybe 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 like this so you create 0 to 1 1 to 2 and then find out this axis the frequency 0 to 1 suppose this much then 1 to 2 let it be this much then 2 to 3 let it be this much this much like this so this kind of chart you get here this side is frequency and this side is the particular variable numeric variable health rating which is plotted here what it will give from the shape of the uh, shape of the histogram you you will know many of the important characteristics for example where the mean lies where the whether it is rightly skewed or left skewed that means which kind of um, occurrences are um, more frequent which kind of occurrences are less frequent and more importantly from histogram you can go to some probability distribution and then you can generalize the population uh, with reference to that particular variable another very important chart which you can use in say the descriptive analytics of the incident data is the Pareto chart Pareto chart is a chart basically which was developed in the probably in the 18th century I think 18th or 19th I am not clear uh, but very uh, long back it was developed and the Alfredo Pareto who is the Italian economist uh, he observed that that time that 80 percent of the world uh, wealth was consumed by uh, 20 percent of the world population so that is why it was also known as 80-20 rule 80-20 rule because 80 percent of world wealth was consumed by 20 percent of the world population however now the scenario is different I think now it is 98 percent of the world wealth are consumed by 2 percent of the world population uh, similar such kind of statistics are available uh, I am not 100 percent sure but that is the case but Alfredo Pareto he observed this so that means and this one that is why this is also known as vital few and trivial vital few and trivial many trivial many what is vital few if you see this suppose you want that 80 percent where is 80 percent here is 80 percent okay so 80 percent 80 percent of the 80 percent of the this this the uh, values or problems consumed by uh, here here there are many accident causes but 10 10 causes are contributing to 80 percent of the occurrences okay so this axis is basically related to percent and this curve this is basically cumulative percent so in the cumulative value is 80 here so and when we come down here so that means 10 different causes that PC these are the causes primary causes that contribute to 80 percent of the occurrences even though there are there are 23 or more more causes so that means there are vital few causes which are primarily responsible for most of the incidents that is occurring in the plant so your your objective will be to work on those causes and reduce the 
accident or incident occurring ok. Then, then uh, I will discuss something about pattern in time series data. Many a times what we do, we basically want to see the performance over time. For example, let it be month 1, month month 2 like month n. Okay. So, you want to see what is happening number of accident per month over time, then this side let it be frequency which is amount. You may find out the situation is like this. So, when you join it is like this. So, this is this is basically a pattern in the data you may find out the situation is like this. Okay. So, or you may find out the situation situation is like this. So, many things okay. Now, if you want to this from the planned level, suppose you want to see your organization level over past 30 years. So, that time you may find year 1, year 2, year 3 like this, you may find something like this also. Okay. So, what happened this data when you, it is measured over time is known as time series data. It may be frequency of incidents occurring or in the uh, operations management, production management, it is mostly the demand per uh, month or per year. So, here frequency in the incident per month or per unit time. So, then if you you may find out that this data will be one is average for example, the, the second one. Here almost there is no change because more or less number of incident every month is same this is average data then trend there is increase or decrease if you see this data it is increase in trend. So, that means the safety of the system is deteriorating there is seasonal influences for example, there can be there can be suppose this is a 6 month seasonality may be like this then again after 6 month it will happen or weekly seasonality or quarterly seasonality will be there it may be there then cyclic movement means when you go for long period long time you consider and then you may find out that some kind of cycle is created means mostly these are all long term cycling behavior which which we observe in the business cycle. But for safety data incident data you may observe if you go over the time, but usually it is not in over time as everything is improving it is it actually usually decreases. But okay, cyclic movement is like this cycle this second cycle it is there. Then otherwise random remaining what happened either all those three four four things will be there average train seasonal influence and cyclical movement these are pattern otherwise data is random random over average random over train random random over cycle some kind of it is not that always you will be when you plot the data you may know you will plot like this. So, some this is not falling on the on this smooth curve. So, this is the these are there will be some kind of now if you if you say this is the cycle then you subtract the cyclic value from every actual observation whatever value left that is that will be a zigzag random type that will be the random error. Okay. So, time series data is also very very important for safety studies. Okay. So, when you do a record accident you, and those accidents or incidents are recorded over time then either daily, monthly, weekly, quarterly, yearly uh, some plot can be made and this will talk about the progress of the uh, performance of, uh, of the uh, department or the plant or the organization with reference to accidents or incident occurring. So, we gave we have given you some idea of descriptive part descriptive analytics part and uh, I hope that you have understood this. Thank you very much.